I'm assuming you wrote the media algorithm story, which was primarily about uh, Dr. Malone and the algorithms around it prior to the release of that N-word video. Am yeah. I am I right? Yeah. So yeah. I was wondering if you had have written this after the N-word video came out or if you were going to write another one like an addendum or something on top of this, an extension to this post the N-word video coming out by Joe Rogan, is there anything else you'd add? Is there anything else you'd want to say? I think the point that's relevant there, and this gets hashed out in the comments. You know, the comments are the, I mean, very rarely do I actually addend a blog post. I just put it in a comment, you know, yeah. and the, the comments are very, very active on this post. You can see that what is it, 200 and something comments so far. Yeah, yeah. I would point out uh, that what I said already that, you know, Spotify deleted a hundred episodes because of this. Where's the outrage? there you know we're just saying so is are you saying first of all was that wrong should they have left those episodes up um and is is spotify being a hypocrite by deleting those episodes but not deleting episodes that they were asked to delete by professionals because it's dangerous medical pseudoscience so that what does that say about spotify's priority and maybe again they're protecting themselves from the backlash but not protecting their audience from dangerous misinformation. That's what. That's where I think that's relevant. Uh, I'll just read this thing. You've just brought it up, and maybe we can wrap with this. Speaking of the interview with Dr. Malone, this is directly from your uh, article, which we'll bring back up for people to see, and if people want to read it in its entirety, go to Neurological Blog. Um, it, uh, this is what the... Uh, some health experts wrote to Spotify with an estimated 11 million listeners per episode. JRE, which is hosted exclusively on Spotify is the world's largest podcast and has tremendous influence. The letter reads Spotify has a responsibility to mitigate the spread of misinformation on its platform through the company uh, though, sorry, though the company presently has no misinformation policy, which then led into a conversation and you write a bit about it, about other platforms as well and what they're doing. You know, how responsible is YouTube for what's on YouTube, how responsible is Twitter, for what goes out on Twitter, how responsible is Spotify for what goes out on Spotify. Yeah, again, that's part of the social media trend. Again, the social media, I make the point very clear. They didn't start these algorithms, these trends, these media feedback loops. They just, you know, made them more explicit and made them much more, you know, high, greater in magnitude. But, um, you know, the, the social media uh, uh, companies can't have it both ways, you know, they and they can't you know, be responsible for like a massive amount of communication around the world where people use them as a news source, as a communication for entertainment, for all of it, and say, we have no responsibility for what's on our platform. Yeah. Um, but, you know, they're, they're obviously trying to do that. So they're, and that that's, you know, this is, this happens every time there's a new technology for communication. It's like the, the old mechanisms don't apply to the new technology then we got to find out new mechanisms, you know, and then that's what we're in the process of doing right now. We're not there yet. I don't know where it's going to go. Um, maybe we'll self-destruct before we can put something in place. Uh, but, or maybe it's just, this is the point in our history where we abandon all pretense to knowing stuff to truth or facts or whatever. Um, uh, but uh, I, I don't think that's going to happen. I think, you know, whatever, there'll, there'll be islands of sanity within the, in the, in the mess somehow. Well, I just hope we can um, find those islands because predominantly what's happening is we don't find the islands. We find the the, the fringe atolls around the outside of the islands. Yeah, that's, right, right. that's what gets the, the oil, that old squeaky wheel. 